Hey, good morning. It's Mike Chunky with Berkshire Hathaway Homes and Shift Home Properties in Scottsdale. Just a Friday morning market chat with Mike. Uh, excuse me. Um, what do we want to talk about? Uh, still inventory. We, uh, you know, we've seen a little bit of increase uh, in multiple listing service, single family detached homes. We are at 9,937. We're up about 200 in the MLS. Uh, Maricopa County, 69.94. Up about 140, and in Scottsdale, for the second week in a row, we've seen an increase. Uh, we've got 15 more this week. There's 886 single-family detached homes for sale in Scottsdale. So that's the second week of increases. Uh, we are heading into you know the end of summer, the fall. August is typically the lowest dollar per square foot of all year. So uh, August is pretty quiet, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, and it has been quiet because in the residential side uh, because we haven't, uh, we just don't have any inventory. Nationwide, I think the number, uh, NAR came out this morning and the number of new listings ticked up slightly too for the first time in over a year. So Case Schiller came out. Uh, you may have heard me say before, I don't love Case Schiller. It's a uh, it's an index, but it's it's old news. Uh, it's a three month moving average with a two month lag. So they came out and said prices are up. Well, that number released this week, that well, was Tuesday, was for June. It's a three month moving average. It's actually what is that? Uh, April, May, and June. So they saw an increase in prices uh, in June. Since then. You know, we look at the current market, the day-to-day -day data, and prices have stabled off. So uh, prices have been increasing this year, not aggressively, but now we feel like, are they coming to... They're increasing still, but at a slower pace. You know, the summer lull kind of ending to uh, coming to an end here, and uh, hopefully in the Phoenix and Scottsdale area, there's a lot of second homes, a lot of vacation homes. So we really have to watch the economy and see people feel people feel wealthy when they have a lot of equity in their homes and people have there's a lot of equity in homes and investment properties right now. Um, as the economy changes, will those houses come on the market uh, to raise cash? We'll see. We'll see. You know, August is always the lowest time dollar per square foot. Mortgage rates dipped a little bit this week. I think seven oh six. 707, 7.07 uh, yesterday afternoon. Everybody was kind of, I had a busy week with economic news. And um, let's see, unemployment number this morning came out. Uh, bonds shot up a little bit. You know, this week mortgage rates came down a little bit. They leveled off right about 7%. Maybe that's why we saw an increase in activity. Uh, as soon as mortgage rates dip down, there's definitely a an uptick in activity in residential side. Uh, unemployment this morning. You know, we're in a funny economic state here where bad news is good news, good news is bad news. Where the Fed is trying to slow down the economy. Of course, we all know everything's expensive. Everything's expensive now. But um, there's this inflation number and the Fed, by raising rates, tries to get inflation under control. Unemployment ticked up a little bit, showed more people in the workforce. Bonds shot up a little bit this morning, but uh, the general consensus is Fed's going to hold rates for the next, I think it was 30% of economists believe Fed's are going to hold rates steady the next meeting. So again, the mortgage rate market is a different market. PIMCO is a big, uh, big hedge fund investor group. They started buying mortgage-backed securities because, you know, they see they see a nice return on them. Um, so does that pull back liquidity in the credit market? We'll see where that goes. We'll see where that goes. And I've said before, do we have too much data? Really comes down to if you want to buy, buy. If you want to sell, sell. We're always going to have marriage, divorce, babies, death, uh, empty nests, and relocations. People are always going to buy and sell. And we're kind of getting back into that normal market. There's just still no inventory. So as, as inventory ticks up a little bit, especially if these second homes come back on the market, we're going to see some an increase in activity. I had a friend from Colorado send me this morning 60,000 uh, 
real estate agents across the nation have uh, not renewed their licenses. You know, it's, in the past two years, if you didn't make money in real estate, uh, something was wrong with you. Uh, everybody made money, so everybody jumped into the industry. Now we're grinding it out. It's, uh, the residential side's tough. It's, uh, it's gotten real light. Uh, and why would you move? If you're in a 3% mortgage in your house, why would you move to take on a 7% mortgage if you don't have to? So those people aren't going anywhere. And that's not going to change tomorrow. That's not going to change within the next six months. Housing market's like a ship. It's, it uh, it kind of grinds along. It does not turn overnight. Everybody remembers 2008 when all of a sudden they, had, they were underwater on their house. That doesn't happen. It's, it's a slow process. Uh, there's a lot of equity out there. There's a lot of good credit holding mortgages. So uh, people are just, people are staying still. And there's a fear of the overall economy. You know what we're going to start hearing about is October 1st, uh, government shutdown. I haven't heard much lately, but uh, they're going to run out of money at the end of the month. So we'll see. Uh, we try to keep politics to ourselves here, but uh, you know where I stand if you... Uh, if you know me, but that that's irrelevant anyway. Um, anyway, rough week in negotiations. We are working on some big commercial deals. And I always say we went to a venture capital meeting. It's a networking group. Uh, it's called Venture Cafe. It's over in the city of Phoenix. Super interesting. It's more computer people and technology focused. But... Uh, there was a guy speaking, and he was talking about product management for software companies. And he comes in with a little different perspective. He's looking for solutions. Same thing, bringing it back to real estate. We have a buyer that wants to buy, a seller that wants to sell. What do we have to do to make it happen? And he was talking about, let's all work together and get to that goal where everybody wins, you know? Some people feel it's competition. There's a winner and a loser, but let's try and get to a place where everybody wins. Um, somewhere in the middle, somewhere or not. So uh, our biggest challenge right now is getting sellers to be realistic and buyers to be realistic and bringing everybody in the market. Uh, house, uh, building, land. The, the value is what a buyer, ready, willing, and able what a ready, willing, and able buyer is willing to pay for a property, that's what it's worth. So it really, uh, that's, that's where we work. Let's talk, pick up the phone, have a conversation. I'm getting a little frustrated with texting and emailing and everything back and forth. Let's pick up the phone and have a conversation. And what do we need, need to do to get the buyers and sellers together? Um, so commercial's busy. You know, I just heard I was talking to uh, another broker the other day. He's working on a new warehouse property, $367 a square foot to build a $15,000 industrial warehouse. That's a lot. That's, that's expensive. You know, builders have, uh, the costs have gone up for builders and permitting. You're, it's taking a long time to get through permitting. Um, so land, people. Builders are sitting on a lot of land, both residential and commercial. Everybody's kind of waiting to see where's this economy going? Where are we going? So we're grinding it out. And, uh, you know, we've got a new investor we were talking to. We get a lot of calls from investors and we, we pick and choose, you know, it's, can you, can you and I work together to get you where you need to be? Can we communicate? Do we have, can we, can we work together to get, you where you need to be. If you don't communicate with me, I can't do my job. So um, we've got this new investor we're working with and uh, just kind of piqued my interest, asked the right questions and uh, we're going to talk later today and see where that gets going. So uh, still looking for a commercial. We can sell 15,000 square foot industrial projects all day long. So if you have anything like that or any interested in developing anything like that, give us a call. Housing, like I said, housing is kind of a lull. We've got we've got a, a stack of buyers. If you want to sell, we could easily make three phone calls and get your home sold. We actually, actually, I should mention uh, we turned away a couple listings because 
it's not my job to put a sign in the front of your house and and have it sit on the market. It's my job to get you where you need to be, get the highest price and the most solid buyer. So uh, we had some unrealistic sellers and I, you know, said I'm not, I'm not gonna cut my fees, first of all, to list your house a million dollars over what it's worth. So, you know, that's kind of where we fit in. We do more private client uh, project management, maybe, you know, we take on different projects and, uh, you know, we're, we're here to help. So if you're an agent, you have a question, give us a call. Um, if you're a buyer and you're just thinking about it, get your financing in order first, uh, or give us a call. We can help you get your financing in order. And if you're a seller, give us a call. It, um, you know, we, we take on a little bit different perspective. We like to work kind of in the, in the project mentality and let's get you where you need to be. So anyway, that was a little rambled, but uh, I hope it made sense. If it didn't, if you have any questions or comments or anything, you know, we always are looking for input. So uh, give us a call. Actually, there's my number right there. Um, happy to help. Anyway, uh, Labor Day weekend. Uh, have a good time. Be smart. Be safe. And uh, we're here when you need us. Thanks again. And um, our, actually, our new newsletter just came out, and I thought it was pretty good. So if you want to be on our newsletter li letter list, uh, just local market, uh, real estate news and what's going on. Uh, there's some big companies coming to the area. So... Um, just let us know. We're here to help. Thanks and have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.